come to my class and in this we are at the core end of the book statistics for economics and in that we are doing the unit 3 that is statistical tool and their interpretation and in that we are doing index numbers and in index numbers we were doing the types of index numbers and in the types of index numbers we finish with consumer price index we finish with wholesale price index and we are going to do today index for industrial production that's what we're going to do today that is index for industrial production so types of index number consumer price index uh, wholesale price index industri uh, index for industrial production so what is industrial production index so broadly industries have been grouped and their weights have been given so broad groupings are mining and mining and quarrying manufacturing electricity and these are the weights that are being determined in percentage 10.47 manufacturing the maximum 76.36 electricity 10.17 so the index number in may 2005 was given as 155.2 here in mining and quarrying and in this manufacturing it was 222.7 and in electricity it was 196.7 so these are the broad industrial groupings and their weights and it shows the growth performance what does it show i mean what does this show it shows the, it shows the growth performances of the broad industrial categories and they differ that's what we've seen all right so what is it the general index represents the average performance of these industrial categories so that's what it is let me just repeat myself once again so index for industrial production what does it mean it means it measures the average change in the level that is increase or decrease in the industrial production in a given time period so it measures changes in level of industrial production consisting of many industries so it is a quantity index and not a value index so here you, you will see quantities it's a quantity index and it's not a value index that is a basic thing you have to remember like you can get a true or false that index for industrial production is a value index false it's a quantity index so it measures the net changes in the total volume of industrial production and that is why it is index for industrial production it is called that so during a given period there may be an increase in the output of some industries and reduction in the output of other industries is that clear so a number of index numbers of industrial production are constructed in india by government and non government bodies the general index for industrial production is the most popular among them so in india the index of industrial production is published by whom it is published by the cso so uh, with the base year uh, 2004 2005 so as i have shown you the broad categories now what happens is once again uh now the data about the level of industrial output in the base year as well as uh, the current year is given in the given period this is very essential in order to construct an index number of industrial production so generally the data construct collected are under the following heads as you've seen mining and quarrying so uh in that you have the production of mining industries which include iron ore coal uh, mining and quarrying you have iron ore coal copper petroleum etc and the in the other industries like for example if you're talking about electricity uh, sorry in the manufacturing the whole lot of them textile industries as cotton woolen silk etc or then you can talk about um, also metallurgical industries which include iron and steel mechanical industries for example locomotives aeroplanes etc then uh, production of uh, industries subject to excise duties uh, like sugar tobacco match etc and of course also miscellaneous industries all come under this and uh, electricity and power etc come they put them as in a different category 
so uh, the data of production of the above various classified industries are obtained on a monthly quarterly or yearly basis once again so where do you procure the where do you get the data from as uh, on the basis of say on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis or yearly basis now different industries are assigned different uh, their weights on the basis of uh, some criteria like for example how much capital has been invested or what is the turnover or the production or what is the net output whatever so that is determined so the different industries are given importance or assigned weights on the basis of some criteria okay such as a capital invested or turnover production that is a net output or whatever so the industry index of industrial production is obtained by taking the simple arithmetic mean or geometric mean of the relatives so that's what it is a simple average uh, rather simple arithmetic mean or geometric mean of the relatives for determining the relatives Share, uh, for determining the relative share of an individual output to total output the concept of value added is most commonly used and the formula is like the average of price weighted um, average of price relative method which i'm just going to explain so when you when you have some data and you've got to work it out it is this is how it is index for industrial production is equal to summation of relatives into weights given weights and the weights are determined already you don't have to bother about that the weights are given and the you take the sigma weights all right so where r is the price relative p1 upon p0 into 100 and weights w is weights so based on this uh, we can do a numerical in order to understand this better okay so uh, once again just before i even show it to you a little revision as such that when you are talking about the index of industrial production so there are certain steps that you have to say first classification of industries basically three mining manufacturing electricity then you collect data so uh, data of industrial production are collected as i said year wise half yearly quarterly or monthly then weights are given now weights are given according to their relative importance and in india if you have we have to follow the weights are given more or less in you can round it off and write it down as as you feel like right uh, it's 76 no that i think it is uh, where is my pen no this is 79.36 because i rounded it off to 80 okay so just let it put let me put that as 79 okay now let's just go with it now this is the formula you can either write it as sigma p1 upon p0 within brackets into w upon sigma w into 100 or simply as sigma r into w upon sigma r uh, sigma w now this is the numerical the industries you know mining manufactured goods and you have what is known as electricity products now the base year production is given as in million tons 50 uh million tons then you have 120 okay and you have 200 for electricity products now current year production in million tons is 60 in mining manufactured good it's 200 and for electricity products it's 300 so the, and the weights are i said as i said we've just rounded it off to 10 80 and 10 because the weights are given Can you see that the weights have been given percentage as ten point four seven seven nine point three six etc. So just to make it easy, now how do we go about it? So the formula is given as what is the price relative P one upon P zero into hundred. Uh, so here, what do we do? It's not. It is Q one. So I'm just now going to change this for you to understand. It's nothing to do with price. So it's it's a price rel relative, but what is this? This is a quantity relative. So I'm going to write as Q1 upon Q0. Is that clear? Into hundred. That's how you got to learn it up. It is like the price relative. Now this is like a relative of the weights. Quantity relatives, you can call it, right? So 
but we call it a relative of quantities now so what is the relative of quantity so that is it is q0 q1 upon q0 into 100 so it is q1 upon q0 into 100 that is relative so you just have a look here so this is how it will be so in fact the relative is so clear in my mind as p1 upon b0 that i wrote it as that but then once i wrote it i just said let it be because most of you are going to make that mistake and be a little um, doubtful about it so i thought i'll correct it while teaching now look at this so uh, with that data given what we did was mining uh, for mining we took out the relative as q1 upon q0 into 100 that becomes 120 so q1 is what 60 upon 50 into 100 so uh, manufactured good is what q1 is 200 upon 120 that is q0 into 100 okay and then we have electricity again it is 300 uh, that is q1 upon q0 200 into 100 and that's how you get these price relatives uh, so weight relatives again so what are the weight relatives it comes to as 120 166.67 and the next next one is 150 now another column we have r into w so what do we do with the so what do we do 120 into 10 that is 1200 or 1200 in the same way 166.67 into 80 is how much? It is 13,333.6. And then we have what is 150 into 10 is how much? 1,500, 1,500 that is. Okay, so then you have to sum that up. So what did you get? 16,033.6. And sigma weights is how much? 100. So, index of industrial production, we know the formula. It is sigma R into W upon sigma W is equal to 160.336. So, well, there has been approximately 60% increase in the industrial production. Is that clear, all of you? I hope that's clear. And with that, we come to the end. And once again, please pause the video, do the numerical, open your textbooks, do the numerical from there, make notes, and you will be good to go.